Hey everybody, it's Audrey and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I've always said my YouTube channel will be more of an in-depth look at my private life and less of the typical content that you would find on my other platforms. With that being said, today we'll be talking about my current health journey. As of Sunday, I have lost 20 pounds since May 12th. That makes me already 40% of the way towards my goal of 50 pounds lost. Now that goal is just a number that I'm working towards to stay motivated. I would actually like to lose more weight than that and get down to what's classified as like a healthy weight for my height, but I'm only focusing on the first 50 for right now. Let's talk about why I began this journey. I think that's really important for me because I've tried and failed so many times to lose weight, but my reasons are different this time, so I feel like it'll stick. Obviously, most of you know my house burnt down on March 20th. We lost everything. Our pets, our possessions, memories, there was nothing left. Currently, we're rebuilding with a totally new house. We've revamped the land some. So my husband and I felt like this would be a great time to focus on our health. We told ourselves that by the time we move into our new home, we would like a healthy lifestyle to go along with it. I haven't been at a healthy weight since high school. Steadily over the past 15 years, I've gained weight. I'm sure that's pretty common for most people. In my 20s, I had such a toxic mindset about everything. Food became my comfort. I turned to food when I felt happy, sad, anxious, depressed, you name it. I would try to diet even then and I would fail. I never took time to learn about foods and metabolisms and calories and exercise and most importantly, my mental health. Like most people, I never felt overweight. I would just buy clothes that I felt comfortable in and then I would see myself in pictures or most recently videos and be completely disgusted. So to sum up, I've always wanted to be healthy, but food has always been my everything and it was impossible to imagine a life where I couldn't pop open a bag of Doritos whenever I felt like it. Okay, sorry, I'm all over the place. This time in my life and everything leading up to it is so hard to put into words and create this eloquent story. So I'm just gonna kind of throw things at you and I hope it all ends up making sense to you. Let me just say this. I struggled with anxiety and depression for years, like at least a decade. I even seriously contemplated suicide about five-ish years ago. Keeping that in your mind, here we are to the day of the fire. When I pulled up to the house, I collapsed. The whole house was engulfed in flames. The porch had started to cave in. The firefighters were running around. My husband was in tears. As I sat on the pavement watching my house in flames, knowing my poor sweet fur babies were inside, I told myself this is the most important moment in your life to rise up. You need to stay calm. You can be sad, but you cannot be defeated. I let myself grieve for about two or three weeks, eating my feelings, laying around my parents' house, crying, I've cried more in the past three months than I ever have in my entire life. I cried everywhere, taking the kids to school, working at my desk. My brother and sister-in-law took us out to eat to our favorite restaurant like two weeks after the fire, and I sat in the booth and cried the whole time. I started wearing a hat everywhere so I could just hide my eyes whenever the tears came. Anytime someone mentioned a pet or a cat or a dog, I would cry. But I started to keep the past where it belonged in the past. I'm still sad, but not all the time. And I can talk about the fire now without tears. I still struggle to talk about my fur babies, so I'm just okay not talking about them at all. Once the grief started to fade, I decided to think about my health. And as another aside, I have always struggled with self-love. I never thought that I was as pretty or as smart as anyone else. I never felt that I deserved what other people had. And I always envied others. That had always affected my ability to lose weight too. Because I would start to diet, and then I would think, I'll never be as pretty as blank and I would give up and eat my feelings. But then came the fire and that strange internal scale I had that I constantly used to compare myself to others was gone. I had literally been to hell and back so I could care less if I'm measuring up to anyone else. I realized on March 20th that my journey is not like any other. We all have our stuff. So now, after going through this life-changing event and coming to these realizations, I decided to focus on my health with a completely different outlook. I started by pinpointing my biggest struggle with my weight loss, which was my relationship with food. I needed to start practicing mindfulness, being aware of my feelings and how they related to food. So I began writing them down. I'm doing pretty well, just mentally noting them now. But if I start struggling again, I will start writing them down again. Some examples of my mindfulness are just analyzing my feelings. Like I'm sad, but I don't need a donut. Or I'm happy, but I don't need to celebrate with Doritos. Like you can have feelings and not need food to go along with them. 
So I knew for my weight loss and health journey that mindfulness would be a key aspect, but how exactly would I lose the weight? I tried low carb in the past and I lost like 30 pounds, but it just was not sustainable for me. I love carbs and I found that if I restrict myself, I won't be successful. So that left me with trying a low calorie diet. A low calorie diet is obviously so important. I'm not a nutritionist, so if you're wanting the scientific reasons for why I do what I do, this isn't the place to find them. But basically, you know, you burn a certain amount of calories every day just by existing. That's your BMR. In order to lose weight, you have to eat less than the set amount that you burn. It sounds simple enough, but you also aren't supposed to eat an insanely low amount because that disrupts your metabolism and can cause your body to store fat because it assumes you're starving. So, you know, there's right and wrong ways to do the low calorie diet. I tried several different online calculators to get my BMR. I picked the lowest and set up a calorie limit each day. Now, I don't stick to this limit super religiously. I typically eat around 950 to 1200 calories a day, sometimes less, sometimes more. I write them down for the most part in my journal. Sometimes I get lazy and just calculate them in my mind, but I don't write them down. Again, if I start struggling, I'll go back to writing them down. I don't deprive myself and I don't track calories on the weekends. I'm not a pillar of health and I never will be. I've never related to women who exercise for fun. I need soda and junk food mixed in with my water and my produce. I'm a firm believer in what's the point of living if you're miserable. I've always enjoyed food and I believe that I can have a healthy relationship with food while still enjoying it. I always tell my friends, I saw this TikTok once and it was like, I told my friend somebody had died and she responded with, well, do you know the last thing she ate? And I said, no, why? And she said, I just hope it wasn't a salad. (laughs) That little anecdote just accurately describes my outlook on life and food. What is the point if you can't enjoy the foods you like? So a recap so far, I'm eating in a calorie deficit. I'm being mindful of what I eat and how I feel mentally each day. The other things I'm doing are drinking more water. I have a standard water bottle, like the 16.9 ounce size, and I try to drink four of those. I hate drinking water. I would take a diet soda over water any day. So 70 ounces of water a day is pretty good for me. I know other people drink a lot more, but I just can't. I also move my body for 30 minutes a day. What I do always varies. And it's not so much about weight loss as it is just a habit I'm making to live healthier. I work in an office job. And I have a standing desk, so my new thing is standing for every other hour. So instead of sitting for 10 hours a day, I sit for five. That makes a lot of difference in how I feel mentally, I think. I'm more productive and not as blah. Those are the biggest changes I've made, and they actually aren't that big. I'm trying to change my lifestyle, not my diet, so it isn't realistic to completely upend my life and assume I can stick to it. So all of my changes are completely reasonable and ones that I can continue for the rest of my life. That's probably the biggest reason I've been able to stick to my diet, if you want to call it that. I'm changing my lifestyle without making huge sacrifices. I'm okay with the fact that I still need to be mindful of the calories that I eat for the rest of my life. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It's fairly simple to do if you aren't counting calories down to the last calorie. Just like a general idea of where you are each day is helpful. In the past, I would just binge eat, like eat, eat, eat. I mean, I could almost never get full. So I definitely was not counting calories then. Sorry if I've rambled this entire video. I really hope you were able to take something away from this. I know my situation is completely different than anyone else's. Like you didn't lose everything, so that can't be your big motivator. So instead, think of it like I need to make a change before something like that happens. My fire happened for a reason. I truly believe that. So I'm making the necessary changes to my life. Change your life before something like this happens to you. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I would be happy to answer them. Like I said, this channel is very behind the scenes, so I will keep you guys updated all the time on my weight loss progress. I can make some more videos with meal prep and recipes, whatever you guys would like. Just let me know. If you're trying to get healthier, comment below. I would love some accountability partners. Next week's video will be all house related. I'm really excited about that one. I'll take you through my house binder, my design ideas, the blueprint, the budget, the progress so far. Comment below if you plan to check that one out. And finally, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I love you all. Thank you guys for watching.